Hi there, here we have the 2020 on a 70 plate Mini Clubman. This is the 2 litre Cooper S Classic. I'll do a video walking around the car showing you the um, condition of the bodywork. I'll also be showing you the um, interior and all the controls as well. Right, so front bumper, no sort of scuffs or scratches. It does have a few age related marks as you can see just around the bonnet. There is some very, very minor chips. However, it is nice to point these out just so you know exactly what's on the car. Alloys all around the car are nice and clean. So it does have the 17 inch black alloys, which goes perfect with the color and obviously combines with the uh, black roof. Just to confirm, it is a one owner from new. Rushmore's have done a full mechanical check and a full service as well. Right, so moving on to the back of the car now. Usually it's quite common to have scratches along here from when I'm loading and unloading. However, that is not the case. It is nice and fresh. No sort of major scuffs or scratches on the back as well. AA warranty as well as the 12 months breakdown cover. So that all comes in with the price of the car. You do also have the option to extend your warranty up to 36 months. So this is something we highly recommend at Rushmore's. Obviously more as a peace of mind than anything when buying a car like this. So as you can see being obviously the, the Cooper S, it does have the S badge um, around the cars. So on the front um, where the grill is as well, there was one which I can show you once we go around as well. Exterior, you've seen the uh, condition of the exterior. Let's jump inside the car, show you the interior as well. Starting off with the front passenger door. So it does have the ambient lighting on the um, just inside the door handles. Cooper S, obviously, once again, it does have the S badge. The seats are nice and clean. As you can see, it does have the sport seats as well. And as you can see, their dash is all nice and clean as well. So the car's been fully validated by Rushmore's. All right, okay, so back door. Once again, the ambient lighting, it does have the rear electric windows. As you can see, just down where your um, where you obviously leave your feet, there is the lights as well. It does also have the Isofix, a nice safety point for the children. Right, so it does have the side opening boot. So what I'll do is I'll show you. So let's open the first one. So as you can see, and then same as this one as well. Let's just go back so you can see the full view which is quite nice to have. It does also have the parcel shelf as well. As you can see, a very nice uh, boot space. Right, so before we go over to the driver's side, let me show you the back once again. So on the back door, one um, very, very minor mark just there, as you can see. Apart from that, there is no sort of marks or tears on um, on any any of other the doors. Isofix, as I mentioned, and obviously back seats are nice and clean. It does have the chrome um, door handles on the outside as well. So once again, the small little touches does make it stand out a bit more. Moving on to the driver's side now. It does have the front and rear electric windows which can be controlled by the drivers you also have your electric door mirrors just there as well right so let's just show you the interior and the screen as well so it is keyless go so as you can see there it does have the engine start stop button so we make sure the car is in neutral kick the clutch in and that's the car now turned on as you can see this is all digital as well so as you can see very very nice um, obviously being being the new the new shape let's say um it is quite nice inside as you can see right so let's um show you how to work with the screen so the screen itself is controlled by the controller just here so let's go on to the sat nav first um very very easy to work with so you just go on to the sat nav enter new destination um, we're not going to add any destinations because obviously there isn't anywhere we need to go at the moment However, just to show you how easy it is to get it done. Let's view the map There we go. So you can zoom in and zoom out as well. So very very nice and easy to work with 
Um, if you wanted to go back, then you'll see you go back to the menu um, and it'll tell you where you need to go. So my mini, um, you got mini connect, notifications, you've got your communication, so your phone, so your Bluetooth phone. Obviously there isn't a, um, a phone connected at the moment. Oh, let's just turn the volume down so you can hear me. Um, right, so where was I? Um, Bluetooth phone. So at the moment, obviously there isn't any phones connected on the car. However, once you connect your phone through the vehicle, if there is any phone calls that come through, you can answer them or decline them on your um, on your steering wheel. So it does have the leather multifunctional steering wheel. Okay, so on this side, as you can see, it does have the cruise control as well. It does also have the auto um, wipers. Back to the screen, sorry. Let's go into the media. So as you can see, it does have the DAB um, DAB radio it does have the FM as well. You have your Bluetooth audio. So once your phone is connected to, to the um, to the Bluetooth on the car on the screen, um, any music you play from Spotify, YouTube, wherever it is you play a music, um, you'll be able to play it. The car does also have Apple CarPlay. So obviously you have your USB insert just down below. Ambient lighting once again, as you can see, even down where my feet are, as you can see, um, the green light. So that's the screen. If we go to my mini and go to, okay, so we can actually see um, all the controls as well. So what I'll do is let's do a check control. So there is no faults on the vehicle. So mechanically the car is bang on. Just down below you have your aircon as well. So your AC button just there. You have your front and rear demisters as well. So when you turn the um, the blower up, as you can see your um, your lights do change as well on the car. It does have the dynamic select, so you have green, sport. So let's turn this back on. So I've just turned the traction control, so it does have the traction control button just there as well. So I've just turned that back on. Let's go back onto the um, di dynamics. So as you can see just there, it does show you the green, so obviously being the, um, the eco mode, um, mid, so obviously more like sort of comfort, and then red being sport mode. And then it does also show on the um, on the screen as well. As I mentioned, the stop start uh, engine button. You also have your stop start. So when you're in traffic, so um, obviously if you if there is traffic and you are stuck in, you know you're not moving at all, the car is in neutral. What will happen is the engine will automatically turn off. To turn the engine back on, obviously you just kick your foot back into the clutch, as in you know you're gonna put it in first gear and start moving. The engine will turn on automatically, which is very very nice. You can turn that on or off if you wanted to. Your electric parking brake as well. So as you can see just there. So obviously the old ones you you pull it up. So this is um, this is the electric one. So a lot of cars now have the electric handbrake. So as you can see inside the car, it is nice and clean. The seats are nice and comfortable. Right, so you've seen the excellent condition of the um, of the interior um, and the exterior of the vehicle. If there is any further questions or you need finance arranging, then please don't hesitate to give us a call as we're more than happy to help you and answer any of your questions. All right, thanks for watching.